Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, we uh, made a purchase at an auction last week and it should be arriving here any moment. So just waiting for Lori to come in with it and we'll show you what we bought. We just had a torrential downpour yesterday, last night, and I think we got like over an inch in like 40 minutes. So you pile that up on all the other rain we got and it is soaking wet out here. Uh, yeah, a lot of rain. So uh, I'm just gonna wait till Lori comes around here and we'll show you what we got. Okay, so as you kind of figured out now, we've got another baler. It's a 568. Um, we really wanted another baler with net wrap because you know what they say, once you go wrap, you never go back. <laughs> but the 560 that I bought last year was really fast uh, for tying. Uh, so we wanted another net wrap bale. We were really happy with the uh, the wrap in the winter uh, a lot of people said it would have froze to the bales but the way we handle our bales we let them thaw so it uh, worked out pretty well not saying that I don't like twine but the one thing that I did um, I did like about the net wrap is when you're picking up the bales it's not dragging behind you like some of the twine bale uh, the twine bales were they were uh, the the twines were chewed by mice this fall a lot of them in the field so a lot of the twines were dangling behind and uh, we got a few of those twines always getting in the seals on your front wheel assist on the hubs and taking out seals so I took out another seal on this MX-135 so it kind of buggered the hub up so I have to get a new hub but, um, it didn't see any of that with net wrap so yeah uh, it's a 2011 model. It has 10,000 bales on it. So for that year and that amount of bales, it's not bad. Um, I just rinsed it off because it had a bunch of road grime on it from the heavy rains that it went through. So it looks a little better now like I had seen it at the auction yard. So yeah, hopefully it works well. You know, you can never test anything at an auction. So it's a... Uh, as is where is so hopefully it works well the only thing I'm worried about is the, the, the net wrap to make sure it uh, wraps the bales properly some of them don't uh, a few things I have to get for it are a bale kicker spring it's broken which is kind of common when they get older springs will break and uh, I've replaced many of those in our 535 and 566. So that's not a problem. I do have to get uh, some of the, the, the band. I always call them bands, but there's a proper name for them and I can't exactly remember what it is. But I have to get two of them. A couple teeth. There's a couple teeth missing there one there so it kind of had a bend here and that's from trying to bale a big slug of hay which I tried a few times last year and you do not want to do that 
because when this thing plugs up it's not like the older balers where you could just lift the gate and push it back through or pull it out it gets clogged in here and on that secondary accelerator roller there with the t with the, the teeth on there and uh, it uh, it is hard and I was told by my dealer to not let the net wrap get into those uh, in between those fingers because it can wear them out so I have to try and get that out of there but with over with the this age of baler you, you're pr prone to find some things so this baler also has the automatic oiler chain oiler so it's got uh, oil lines going to all the chains with the brushes and the oil it oils every time the gate lifts so in our area with the amount of hay we've got the gates gonna be lifting lots so this uh, the chains aren't too bad this one could stand to be changed it's got no more tightener left well, it does have a little bit but it could stand to be a new one there this one's not too bad it might have been changed at one point this one could be original uh, this one's brand new because this is a 60 chain on there and those ones break from time to time but they put a lighter chain on there because I think they want them to break instead of wreck something on the baler so yeah um, that's about all I can say about it right now she's in not too bad of shape which is I looked at a few of them there and it looked it looked like they came from uh, there was like three balers with the tandem walking beam axle and uh, to me it seemed like they kind of came from the same farm so yeah so we're just gonna do a little maintenance on her she'll be ready to go if it ever the weather smartens up so that's the 568 baler and uh, that's about all for now so thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and we'll talk to you all later